I'm finding myself in a bit of a pickle here, so I'm gonna need some help from our trusty editor and software to get out of this. I'm gonna need to hide inside a painting for a while until the guards are off my back. So uh, keep watching, give us a like and subscribe, and download PowerDirector to follow along to get me out of here. First, we will prepare a green screen and a blue screen. We need two different colored screens for the effect we're about to do. Did you know that green screens are that neon shade of green because most people don't wear clothing that color? Green isn't in our skin tone either, unless you're like an alien or something. Whereas a color like yellow or red won't work for that very reason. The same with blue. Blue isn't in our skin tone and can easily be keyed out with a chroma key without creating holes in our face. Just have to be careful not to wear blue if you're filming with a blue screen. Actually, you could use almost any color screen you want. So if you are in fact a neon green alien, you would maybe use a red screen. Anyway, back to the video. Set up a tripod for your camera or phone. We need a tripod to make sure there's no moving or shaking in the video while filming. And lastly, try to fix the lighting so that there is absolutely no shadow when you move around on your set. This is important because shadows will create different shades in the color of the screen and make it harder to key out completely. Now that we've got our set up ready, let's get me out of here. First, we're gonna import our video and drag it onto the timeline. Once we've selected the clip, we will click the edit function. Then we're gonna click on the video tab and select the tools drop down menu. Click on edit properties to bring up our properties window. Select the chroma key drop down menu, then use the dropper to select the green screen color in the video. To get a wider range on your selected color, you can play around with the color range and denoise settings. This will help cover any range of shade difference in our video. Remove the green screen, then we will do the same for the blue screen by first selecting add new key, then going through the same steps. Click OK to save your work. Now we will remove the objects that are outside of the length of our green screen. Under the video tab, we will again select the tools drop down menu, this time selecting the mask designer. Since our green screen isn't a perfect square or rectangle, we will click on the icon to create custom selection mask. Then adjust the blue frame to the corners of the green screen and then click OK to save. Now let's edit in our painting and frame so that I can escape. First, we will need to make sure that our original clip is the top layer, so we will drag it down to the lowest track and then lock the track for later editing. Now we will drag the painting we want onto the first track and make our adjustments directly in our preview. As an added tip, you can press the shift key to maintain the aspect ratio while you resize the picture. Then we will drag and drop an image of the frame into our second track and resize and reposition it so that I can escape into it. We will also need to make sure that the bottom of the frame matches up with where I hop over into the frame. Here we can unlock the main clip and make adjustments as necessary. Now in order to get our painting onto our frame, we will first select the clip of the frame, then click edit. Then under the tools drop down menu, click mask designer. Then we will click the button to create a custom mask once more and adjust the blue selection frame. Tick the invert mask button and voila, there's my escape. Phew, made it out without breaking anything. Now, I don't condone being a thief, but this belongs in our office. You can also help us out by liking our video and subscribing if you found it helpful. And download PowerDirector to try out some movie magic yourself. <laughs>